Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. With the increasing importance of being aware of levels and loudness in the age of digital music delivery and streaming, we need tools that can precisely give us the most important measurements throughout our sessions. So today we're going to cover two of the most prevalent measurements involved in the new loudness standards, which are LUFS and TruePeak. And I'm going to show you how to measure these with the WLM Plus plugin. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we just play back our instrumental track with WLM Plus as the last plugin on our master bus, just getting the readings for final levels. Let's talk about some of the feedback that we got from WLM Plus, as well as these numbers here and what they mean to you in terms of delivering for the digital platforms and streaming. First, let's cover LUFS. What does LUFS stand for? It is loudness units full scale. And this reading here, long-term, otherwise known as integrated, is what the digital platforms and streaming platforms are using to set consistency for their listeners. So this is the most important LUFS reading for us in the music world right now. The digital music platforms are going to be taking your long-term integrated measurement across your entire song from start to finish. So today we're just doing a 30 second playback, getting a measurement for that. But just keep in mind, you wanna measure the entire song to get that long-term reading. Now the momentary measurement, this is just an instantaneous LUFS uh, reading here can be helpful as well. The range indicator up here is just telling us the difference between the loudest and the quietest point in our song and it refers to it in the loudness units. So that's just the unit of measure for LUFS. We're gonna go down here and let's just say for example, the Spotify standard is minus 14. So if we wanna set a target and kind of shoot for that, we can just go ahead and set that here. And we've got some indicators, which I'll show you in just a second, will let us know that we've reached our target. Now let's talk about True Peak. If you're not familiar with True Peak, this is another very important measurement type. And it's a peak reading that takes into account the conversion from digital to analog. And many of the streaming services are implementing this in a way that if you go above zero True Peak, they may implement their own limiter. So we don't want that to happen. Obviously, you don't want your master to be affected. Most of the services are suggesting that we deliver at minus one True Peak. So we're going to use the handy True Peak limiter that's built into WLM Plus. This is a nice safety net. And then I'm going to go down here to the True Peak Max. And I'm going to set this to minus one. And then we're going to play back now and let's see what happens in terms of True Peak. And I may also adjust our gain so that we can get our long term up to the target of minus 14. So you'll notice with our true peak limiter engaged, we are right at minus one. So we're good to go there. And we also got our little check indicator that says we have reached our long-term or integrated LUFS target of minus 14. So with this, we get valuable feedback to let us know where we are in terms of these new standards. We get a very accurate measurement of both long-term LUFS as well as True Peak. And we also have some tools here that are gonna allow us to deliver within these standards and prevent any unwanted or unpleasant results upon release from the digital platforms. So if you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. We'll talk to you soon.